I have one more gift. Kiss. <gasps> I don't need a squire. Yeah. Wow! I totally forgot about this! That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's gonna be me! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> In the year 2022, a young man named Angel binged a show called House of the Dragon over the course of a week. Later, he joined his friends for the finale in a pub of no particular note or importance. But it was only revealed afterwards that the young man had never seen nor been spoiled of the original series Game of Thrones. Now, watch and relive the series from... Angel's truly unique perspective as the Watchers in the Bar present. Hey, hey, what is up, everybody? It's me, Sean Tanktop. I'm over here at Casa Day Tanktop, and I'm hanging out with Angel. What's going on, baby? It's going good. Also in a tank top. Also in a tank top. I didn't even tell him to do it. That's the synergy that we're rocking with right now. Um, and, you know, we're in lockstep. The show that we're watching is in lockstep. Been really good, really strong. This has been a, this is probably my favorite season so far. I, so far, well, I mean, is that just the Joffrey of it all? The fact that we caught, we, <laughs> we caught that W like yeah. two fucking episodes and then, in. And then they gave us Pedro. And... Ah, the dad, the dad, you know what I mean? Yeah, so there's, so it, it was already it coming, coming in hot straight out the gate over there. But we're talking about Game of Thrones. We're talking about a hot D fan watches Game of Thrones for the very first time. Angel watched Hot D first and had never seen or read or any of the other Song of Ice and Fire stuff, so we thought it'd be cool to go back through it with him through that lens. And is there anything like that you're especially watching out for, or is it just- I, I love a trial. Like in a, Tyrion, in Tyrion's gone trial because everybody thinks that he would be fu one of the one of the most notably smart people in the realm. And he's going to kill, he's going to poison somebody and hold the cup. Yeah. Right. But you, but we got a trial. Yeah. yeah. I, I love those scenes in like most shows. Um, Look, get, get a little law and order. Look, get, get a little, yeah. <laughs> a little law and order over. Gouge the man's eyes out. Yep. Then fed him his own eyes. Bingo. Then wore his dead skin to an orgy. Ding, ding. Then got busy in the holes where his eyes used to be. Circle gets the square. Also, Shay. We haven't seen Shay in a minute. She probably, she probably yeeted the fuck out of there too. Yeah, or I suspect they already like took her. You think they got her? Well, because uh, Cersei found out. From she the knew people, so she, she knew. knew about Shay. Yeah, and that's true. For Shay to not have popped up, I know she's like in some dungeon. They're gonna like. They're gonna bring her. Oh, they're gonna like trial. bring him to her or something During like the that. Trial. Ah, yeah, Watch. that could be something. Like, yeah, either what's well, like it's gonna be used in some way to hurt him. Like, either they're gonna kind of do like a like a a Taisha type thing or whatever, where like you know, it's like here she is, like or some like some bullshit like that, type shit. or or type shit type shit, <laughs> or they're gonna possibly you know, or yeah, that it could something could happen in the trial. Yeah. And stuff like that. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm just ready to kind of jump into it, huh? I'm, I'm always ready, but at the same time, never ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because because the show is gonna happen, right? And, and shit goes down. But um, uh, but we are gonna be watching this thing. We appreciate you guys for hanging out with us while we go through. The hot D fan reacts to GOT for the very first time. If you guys want to get early and uncut access, if you guys are enjoying this episode, and you're enjoying these reactions, and you want to see the next episode completely full and uncut, and you want to get them a week ahead of time before anybody else gets to check them out, you can do that by becoming a part of the Patreon. By supporting the channel, it's the best way to support the channel. You click the link that's in the top end comment in the description below right now, episode five, and whatever crazy shit goes down in that episode, you guys get it completely full and uncut. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh, yes! The bone's coming out of the side. Okay, cool. If you can't do that, you still want to help us out, you can hit us with a like, a subscribe, ring the bell, tang, because that shit always helps. It never fucking hurts. Appreciate you guys for hanging out with us. My name is Grey Wong. He's learning the common tongue. Is Isles. Summer Isles. She's teaching him. That's cute. I ship it. Oh yeah. I mean, shit, they're shooting through the flame and they're like, it's, it's, it's literally, <laughs> literally smoldering. Like. You remember your home? I remember when they rode us away from shore. Mm. 
And I remember my village burning. Oh. Like, that was so nice. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Those hands are really close to touching. They were! Perhaps one day you will return to the Summer Isles. I don't want to return. Eban Senajo Paiske. Oh, you said some ill shit masters. right there. I don't know what I don't know what <laughs> the masters. Ooh. Very well, Your Grace. Miss Sunday is teacher good, my queen. Oh, hell yeah. The I, way that they characterize him, like thinking about and now that the sequels of, of Star Wars have come out, I was like, that's how they should have characterized Finn. Yeah. Like a constricted child soldier. Like, I mean, like, I, even though John Boyega is so fucking, like, charismatic. Oh, they're like going undercover. He's apparently, um, I think, currently in, they did like a new rendition of an interview with the vampire. Cute. And people fucking love it. Like, I haven't seen it myself, but. Valar Mugulis. So that's what Alvaro Mugulis means. All men will die. Uh, all men must die. Sir Osvilivan Denerisi. Jimisa Esposaldrizes. It's so fucking crazy to come up with a totally new language. Yeah, that is. And to have it, like, kind of sound like it tracks. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, I'm told, Fol Jenny. Told Kim. You want weapons? I got weapons. Dorijim Kotas, Tebajo, Jiva Derve, Sumbazi, Zermas Maho. Damn. Skathakiskrach. The little revolt. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. And also, like, this is, like, uh, maybe other than that, like, a, a real set. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't she? Do. Yeah, no, totally. How many children did the great masters nail to mile Oh, shit. <laughs> We've talked about it before. Sometimes it is better to answer injustice. Mercy. I will answer injustice with justice. Oh. Damn. <laughs> oh, no. Where was the mercy for literal children? Right. No, like, I, I agree. I agree. You know what, though? They only have one hand nailed. Allegedly, Jesus had two. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Oh, he's training. I, I, I yeah, guess. yeah. Out of sight. Getting better. <laughs> You're a rare talent. And you're fighting cripples anyway. <laughs> I bet that thrust through the Mad King's back was pretty as a picture. You want to fight pretty or you want to win? It's kind of cool that he's like, now he's like kind of hanging and counseling with like another Lannister and shit. That's pretty cool. You haven't been to see him yet, eh? We're done for today. It's because he fucking knows that he didn't do it. Yeah. You for him in his trial by combat of the Eerie. You were his first choice. Hmm. He named you for his champion because he knew you would ride day and night to come fight for him. You're going to fight for him now. Damn. Whoa. Run. Wow. Four walls, a pot of piss in. <laughs> <laughs> I was chained to wooden post, covered in my own shit for months. Is that supposed to make me feel <laughs> a bit? It's like your buddy when he gets fired, you call I him up and you're just like, so how are you doing? You hitting the bricks over there, you fucking unemployed piece of shit. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta roast Jesus. him a little bit. Her son died in her arms. Her son? <gasps> <Don't>. <laughs> It is like out. crazy out in the open, you yeah. know what I mean? I said the quiet part loud and the loud part quiet. Oh dear. Did you do it? The Kingslayer brothers. You like it? <laughs> they would have both had one! I totally didn't even, I forgot about the really asking if I killed your son? Are you really asking if I'd kill my brother? Mm. Aww. Mm. Love. You. Right? Well, you could set me free. No, I can't. 
I'm the Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Sorry, I'd forgotten. I'd hate for you to do something inappropriate. Inappropriate? <laughs> you... Sansa couldn't have done this. She had more reason than anyone in the Seven Kingdoms. It's true. It's a coincidence. Sansa's not a killer. Not yet, anyway. Well. Oh man. Become a killer, Sansa. <laughs> the angel of dead <laughs> and of death has entered the chat. <laughs> I believe in you. <sighs> I'm getting married to your aunt Lysa. She's waiting for us at the Eerie. You'll be safe oh, there. Oh god, they're hanging out with the breastfeeder. Not the hillbillies oh, of god. Westeros. Do you remember that lovely necklace <gasps> Dantas gave you? I don't suppose you noticed that a stone was missing after the feast. Oh, the poison inside of a crystal if they don't know who you are or what you want they can't know what you plan to do next never let them know your next move <laughs> never let them know. Yeah, can always keep them guessing i guess i'd risk everything to get what i want and what do you want don't say it Herbert. Uh, yeah. everything okay as for what happened to joffrey well that was something my new friends wanted very badly. Who are the new Who's friends? Who's he talking about? Thoughtful gift to make oh. a new friendship grow strong. I can't believe you're going alone here with these. He didn't say it, but that I cut. What did I say, Olena? I have to take one more leisurely stroll no. through these gardens. I'll fling my. Don't you dare say that. Garden <laughs> walks are the best, Olena. You should know better. I was to be given to some Targaryen or other. <laughs> Marrying a Targaryen was all the rage back then. <laughs> the moment I, I wonder who she's talking about. Before Luther, I wonder which. I wonder which sister. one. The following morning, Luther never made it down the stairs to propose to my sister because the boy couldn't bloody walk. <laughs> And once he could, the only thing he wanted was what I'd given him the night before. Damn. <laughs> I was very, very good. Keep that shit up, <laughs> I could have done, but he didn't. You don't know, Grandmother. Oh, but she I knew. Know. You don't think I'd let you marry that beast, do you? Roll the clip. I said this I that episode. You did. You did. Who do you think that it was? Marjorie or, um, Ole Oleta? With, oh! Uh, you just do what needs to be done. Come well, on. Rolling back the clip, you can see there's this part where she's like, Oh, you look so good, Sansa. And you see her fiddling with the necklace and shit. Fucking sick as fuck. She's <laughs> raw. I can fight. Have you ever held a sword before? I was the best archer in our hamlet. Well, then pick up a fucking bow. Ah, oh, too soon! Too soon! Right now, watch and learn. You two, <laughs> trying to disarm each other. Whoa. What the fuck is he doing here? I forgot that he got sent to the wall. <laughs> Friends arrange you. You're a steward. Maybe you forgot that while you were off with your wildling bitch. Damn. Wow. Jesus. Damn. Go on, do it. You traitor's bastard. Give me an excuse. Norman's not here to protect you now. Fuck. You traitor's bastard. He's like, <laughs> you, you know, he's like, when he says bastard, he goes, bastard. bastard like, well, like, <laughs> real down on it like that. Let the mutineers take care of Snow. Or you might be taking orders from him the rest of your life. Damn. Whoa. Scheming of their own. Yeah, definitely, man. There's got, that's the other thing, there's got to be schemes everywhere. Everybody's got to be fucking doing shit, like... Name's Locke. Jon Snow. What are you going to do, cut oh, that well. hand off too? Fed a prize partridge to me hungry kids. I'm stupid enough to get caught. I don't know though, I don't trust it. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is this, oh what this show has done to our beautiful baby boy? I'm such a cynic like, now. <laughs> Last time I trusted somebody, he put poison around Sansa's neck. I know, right? Why did Catelyn Stark set you free? Ever since that great cow brought you back to the capital. Damn, she's lashing the fuck out. Catelyn Stark's dead. So if I told you to leave the capital right now and find Sansa, if I told you to find that murderous little bitch and bring me her head. 
Would you do it? <laughs> You're like, where the fuck do you think I should start? <sighs> I know you went to see Tyrion. He didn't do it, sis. I was about to say, you gonna fucking say it? Like... Abused by the world, despised by his father and sister. He'd kill us all if he could. I feel like he could have. <laughs> right? She has teeth. Yeah. I think gonna... <laughs> that would be all, Lord Commander. Damn. Also, you did kind of rape me. Let's yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. Also, that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Oh, yeah, that was that boar that they shot together. Surpounce? Romance. Surpounce. <laughs> His Surpounce. cat. <laughs> The cat dragged in. Literally. Don't think you're supposed to be here. Mother doesn't allow me to have visitors at night. I'm not a visitor, Your Grace. Word has it, I'm to be your bride. You better work, Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> we ought to get to know one another, don't you think? Yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 he literally should. He literally go like, <laughs> yeah. Tell me a secret. <laughs> Sir Pounce. Hello, and you a proper fellow. That's Sir Pounce. <laughs> My new favorite character. I know, no, dude. No, you, you and the internet back in twenty fucking fourteen, <laughs> man. Absolutely. You don't strike me as cruel. No. I think he's not too bad, honestly. I should go. May I come and visit you again? Yes, please. <laughs> or... Hello, nurse. <laughs> We've been wanting more, Marjorie. Mm -hmm. Plant that seed. Oh, my lord. Fucking Inception bonered that fucking kid. <laughs> Marjorie Smash. <laughs> By the way, everybody. <laughs> is that what, is that like a, is that like a cross the streams moment for you? Yeah, that's, um, my Bayera kicking There we go. Marjorie. Fuck yeah. I mean, when you're, when you're as hot as she is and, and as hot as she is in this role, nice you know. Name. Damn, look at that steel. Valyrian steel. Hmm. It's yours. <gasps> I can't accept. Must be forged from that dark sword. You use it to defend Ned Stark's daughter. Lit. I is probably dead too, but there's still a chance to find Sansa and get her somewhere safe. Holy fucking shit, right? I love them. This is so crazy. I hope I got your measurements right. <laughs> you you want to be a Kingsguard? You got to act like a Kingsguard. You got to look like a Kingsguard. For Lady Catelyn. And for you. Aww. Mm. <laughs> I have one more gift. Kiss. <gasps> I don't need a squire. Yes. Wow! I totally forgot about this! That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> Brother owes him a debt. He's not safe here. You'll be keeping him from harm. Right. Yeah. That's a fucking amazing fucking pairing. <laughs> I'm so happy. That's really nice. But I'm very nervous for him. I wanted a hot yeah. pie. I wanted a hot pie ending. For yeah, him. right, 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 right. It's like where you just kind of like kind of go run off, but yeah. What are you waiting for? A kiss? Yes. Oh. Ready the lady's horse. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. What a sick pair. Yeah. Not as sick as Arya and the Hound, but it's close. Yeah. You know? It's it's wholesome. Yes, it's the wholesome, like, version. Look at her. Look at how fucking dope she looks. Oathkeeper. That's what she's going to name it. Aww. Goodbye, Bram. <laughs> Cersei was right. She loves him. Yeah, she does. And he is he's forever changed having having met her, you know. Like, wow. Also the like the the Jamie that would after what Cersei did and said would make something like this happen. Yeah. It's like I literally put in motion some, some I put like one of the best swords 
in between me, you and and Sansa. That's crazy. Gross. All right, crash this key. I sanction it. He's gonna let him do it. Go die. Or volunteers only. Thank you, Sir Alistair. Trying to like set him up to fail, basically. You know. <clears throat> Brothers. <laughs> Mance learns what they know, we're lost. But if that's not enough, then consider this. They fucking killed. The they Lord killed Commander the Lord Commander, Marvel man. They gotta go. Father. He deserved far better. All we can give him now is justice. Justice. That's like a big thing in this that's episode. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Nice. Smash. Fuck yeah, Grant. Grant's cool. Grant, Grant's dope. Hell yeah, Dollar is Ed. I've had a back and forth on Instagram with that guy. He seems pretty cool. Like, yeah. like <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, you're mad. They're gonna get. <laughs> I think he's gonna get more than they ever thought. Fuck yeah. He's gonna. Oh, all right. Uh oh. Oh, this Willem Dafoe looking motherfucker. He does. Drinking wine from the skull of Geor, fucking Mormon. That's what? <laughs> I mean, that's metal as shit, but what the metal fuck, frost. dude? Go outside and feed the beast. What would, what did he just throw at him? You me? What was it? It looked. For a second, I thought it was a baby arm or something like that. Like, I mean, I, yeah. He told me a man's name and that man never saw daylight again. None of them cocksuckers got away from me. Seriously, like the son of Defoe. Yeah. I was a fucking legend, Jinami. I was a fucking legend. A fucking legend. <laughs> any night, any night, any time. That's me talking about the Burlington. I, I want this level of confidence when I'm... Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confidence game, great. <laughs> game... Horrible. <laughs> Craster's last child. All right. Oh. Don't need another mouth to feed. This guy's like, listen, you need me to rise in the ranks. The White Walkers. I would listen to the chanting women. Yeah, like. Just give the Walkers what they want. Rest is headed that way. Jesus. I'm like, you know what this episode needed? Another child death. Another, yeah, some, yeah. More, in, some more infanticide. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, I hate this. Yeah. It's going to feel so good to kill these guys. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, hey, holy oh, shit. I didn't realize that Ghost was still with him. He's gonna like waste his own water. Yeah, for <laughs> like, real. You, just you know what I mean? Like just, 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 to, just to sort of kind of shit talk a dog. Fuck. Also, can it just lick the snow for water? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. For sure. <laughs> like, still. Already. Yeah. Already. Oh shit. Chicago winter. <laughs> yeah, what, last January. <laughs> like <gasps> they could hear the baby. I'm going out there. No, we need to stay together. I'm going. Whoa. Sick. So fucking cool. Brand's like, getting sicker by the fucking day. Right. Like I would have brand each the baby. <laughs> A little hungry. <laughs> no. Oh my god, let him out. <gasps> what happened? Caught him in a trap. Who? Oh shit. I didn't see, but they have my brother's wolf. They gotta go. They have ghosts. Oh my god, they're all going there. Oh fuck. If John was here, why would they put his wolf in a cage? True. It's like, but these ain't. Mira's like, yeah, I'm getting bad vibes off of this. <laughs> if I'm not back soon, we'll meet at <gasps> Oh! Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Oh, leave him alone. 
This is crazy. I don't remember any of this. This is... Oh, God damn. Oh! Brand, I'm gonna need you to warg into one of these fucks and start killing people. This guy's like risen in the ranks as far as despicability. Yeah, he's like, just like, like the worst meteoric rise. Ever. Without Joffrey, the bar was like <laughs> right, yeah, way like, lower. No, 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 no. Now everybody's <laughs> jocking for the like him, Ramsey, you know, like little finger, little finger. Yeah. You know, wildly born, I'm something of a wildling myself. <laughs> Sorry, it was sitting right there. <laughs> my mom had curls like that. Beautiful brown curls. Mommy issues. Mira had the right idea. <laughs> yeah, she was like, sketchy men. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What the fuck's wrong with him? Oh, oh, oh. No. Please, please let me help you. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, he has like seizures oh, and shit. Yeah. A Brandon Stark. A Brandon Stark of Winterfell. Yeah. I thought this was gonna be another boring day. I thought the I thought the episode was gonna end on like that, like it's like a cliffhanger or something like, like that. Like with the baby, well, like with them getting caught or oh, whatever. Oh, fair. But oh, nope, nope. We got baby stuff. Oh shit. This horse is sick. Yeah, baby likes him. He's not crying anymore. Oh. Little guy. It's so cold though. What the fuck is this? Dude. Like, what have they been doing with all of the babies? I don't know, an army? They make them little... You guys are sick. <laughs> All of you. I mean, how many times can you say that at the end of any one of <laughs> any one of these episodes of this fucking show? Oh my It'll lord! It'll just keep happening, I guess. Right. So they are making a little army out of men, little baby men, little baby men, little, bit. <laughs> little, <laughs> little baby, baby men. <laughs> um. Like the size of Chucky just running around. A bunch of little Chucky, little ice Chuckies and stuff like that. Or, well, we don't, I, I, I guess we, we don't know. We have yet to see. We've only ever seen. So, they're the White Walkers. Mm -hmm. And the Whites are the, like, zombie people. But yeah. this is something different. Yeah. Wholesale different, you know. And, yeah, like, I think... It's a, uh, yeah, I mean, like, is that how? You, it's like, is that how you make like a white walker as opposed to a white? Yeah, probably. You know. Damn. Fuck. <laughs> you know what's so crazy is I was thinking like, up until like 15 minutes ago, like this is gonna be such a cute, wholesome little episode. We had some cute, wholesome shit. We it did. Just we did very. We did. Plot driving, you know, yeah, like scheming it, and stuff like that. Not and, a lot of, not a lot of really like super tough shit. Not a ton of fights. It was just like a lot of character work, and you know, even I mean, the closest thing we had to a fight was fucking, you know, Jamie and Bron like practicing and shit yeah. like that. And then they, they were like, no, 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 no. like hold on, hold on. it's like we're gonna have. Uh, like a, a cornucopia of SA like <laughs> happening and shit. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, while he's delivering a monologue, you just see it in the background still going on. I'm like, oh. Like, I, yeah, again, sorry, Kenny. <laughs> the, uh, no, but, um, but a really good episode. You yeah. know, like a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of rewarding stuff. A lot of very mysterious stuff. You know, um, we didn't get any Oberyn. We didn't get any Pe Pedro. No Pedro. So I mean, you know, that maybe that's one notch against it. But it was a good. But I, I thought. It, what did you think of it? I liked it a lot. I mean, we we found out who killed the king. So that's pretty big. Pretty sick. Yeah. And and awesome. And it makes sense. You know. And um, Marjorie's incredible. Doing her fucking thing. I don't. That I don't know if there's one move that she's done where I was just like. I don't 
I don't think you should have done that. Yeah, yeah. And she's been playing this so well. Yeah, and, and I think it's it's. I mean, and again, you look at her grandma and and who who like you know obviously she's raised by her parents and shit like that, but like who has been who whose tutelage she's been under, you know, and of fucking course. Yeah, the Tywin counterpart. Fem Tywin. Fem Tywin. <laughs> Femwin. Femwin. You know, over there. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, essentially. But, 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 I mean, probably a lot less destructive and a lot less chaotic. And, 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 you know, like, even the shit that she said, like, you go back and you watch the old episodes and, like, you know, the shit that she said right before it, she was just like, it's like, it's like, I'm so, I, I never meant to tell you about how sorry I was about your brother. Can't imagine the type of man that would murder somebody at a wedding. Yeah. She says that yeah. right before she fucking... I forgot what I had said, but I had my sights set on her. Yeah, oh, no, 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 you did. You did, 100%. So yeah, absolutely. I, I will be and I, I, I honest, that. Yeah, and I honestly forgot... I had forgotten that they had revealed it rel as as relatively soon. Yeah. In no uncertain terms. I mean, she, she said it out loud, but for a second I was like, maybe that's the only thing that, like, they'll, you know, occasionally they'll just kind of imply things with editing. Like, you know, it's like, I have friends who are growing strong and they're, and, and the name of their house is called Growing Strong. And so that was like a little wordplay that clued into that. And then you cut and you see the two of them, you know, it's just really good shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, um, and so, but they, yeah, but they basically let the cat out of that bag. I mean, the, ser the serpents out of, out of that bag. <laughs> <laughs> New favorite character. He, listen. Cats are dicks, but they're upfront about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Also, like, I don't know. I feel like this season is just everything you're expecting for them to wait for, like, a mid-season episode mm, or, like, the ending. Like, mm. killing Joffrey and then revealing the killer and it's not even the season finale yet is... Yeah. It's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's 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 good. I mean, like, it it's keeping you off balance. It's, like, it's, it's good... You know, because we've kind of been, I don't even, maybe not, maybe conditioned is the wrong word, but it's the first word that comes to mind, where you're like, you're like, ah, the big fucking thing's going to happen around like, you know, episode, you know, eight, nine, yeah, eight, whatever. And they're just like, no, no, no way, we're, we're moving <laughs> the timeline up, you know, and, and shit that was at play, things that were happening, it doesn't not make sense. It yeah. doesn't not whatever it, it's a it's a kind of a desperate bold really kind of create maybe not desperate but it's a bold move to like play to, to to hash a scheme to kill a guy right before you can officially consummate the marriage and pull it off yeah and kind of put yourself in position to have a way better because it's like one of those things where you know she was playing Joffrey, but you couldn't guarantee her safety. No. You could never do that with him. But with... Um, Tommen. Tommen, you can definitely... Like, that kid's already being played as a fiddle. Do you want me to come back? Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Dope. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah, no shit. I mean, like, and, and, and that scene is so great. It's so delicate. It's, you know, it's kind of like, ooh, like, like, what's going on? And gives him a peck on the fucking head and stuff like that. The lighting is so, it's, it's, it's very, it's subtle until you see it. Like this, you know, she's like orange and warm and stuff like that. And he's blue, cool tones and stuff like that. And just this, this, these things kind of coming together and shit. It was so fucking good. And she plays it perfectly. And like, she didn't like, also, I think they kind of, they toned down like, her makeup too, so it, she almost looked younger, yeah, in a certain sense, you know, and was just sort of, and also just maybe just not doing that devilish eyebrow that she's just so fucking great, you know what I mean? Like, and it just, it she just, you know, like she acted as if she was aging down because of who she had to talk to and yeah. stuff like that. It's a fucking, it's all like meticulous and planned out. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And it's like, what's her name? Which is like, I was good. I was very, very good and he was like <laughs> fucking a dude it's like he couldn't walk after that it's like fucking shit dude brianne and Podrick, love that give them a little sitcom side <laughs> fucking spin-off like i swear <laughs> Podrick, i never asked <laughs> i never asked for a squire 
<laughs> or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, I, I think no, I, that them as a pairing is because Podrick also is one of the few characters I think that is like kind of un sort of tainted or touched by some of the nastier elements of this show. He's very pure of heart. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and. And so is Brienne. I think probably like who who are we talking on the pure heart scale? Who do we got? Serpents. Serpents. Obviously. Um uh maybe even Tommen. We'll have to see. Yeah, so far. He's a child. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, he's a kid, but I mean like, but hey, I mean like again, a, like a strike's a strike, because when Joffrey was his age, he was like trying to cut fucking Arya's head off and yeah. shit, like and lying. <laughs> you know what I mean? All that shit. Um so Brienne, Podrick, Davos. Yeah, I would. I would also maybe throw Sansa in there. I feel like, besides being a brat in the earlier seasons, like she she contemplated killing Joffrey, but she didn't do it. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, she's yeah. just been right. Just been yeah, yeah, it. just as far as. But interesting scene with her and Littlefinger, where it's like, wouldn't wouldn't you think that she would start to be kind of become obsessed with controlling the circumstances around which she is? Yeah, which she did finally start showing a little bit more of playing the game. Sophistication. Yeah. Yep. And like explaining to him like uh -huh. why she knows And he was sort of on. asking, why would I do this? Yeah. Why would Almost this like, like training her as well. Or uh, I could go for, I mean, I can go for that for her. Not like learn what you can from him and then toss him over to the side of the yeah. ship. You know and what I mean? Like use it against him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. John had some really cool like had some fun stuff. Like and again, more like scheming in the in the sense of like a like, you know, when there's a power vacuum, a bunch of people start to rush in to try to see if they can fill that. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what Thorn fucking pube head over there, like like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like uh you know, it seems like they're they're like, yeah, we'll let you go do it because we think you're gonna fucking die. Yeah, and they didn't think that he was gonna be able to get as many people as he did, which was satisfying to see. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he does do his little speeches and he does them well. He does his little speeches. He yeah. does it well. You know, he's kind of that. He, yeah, he's sort of that guy. And and um and yeah, and then like, but it's all it's crazy how it's all sort of the circumstances are all kind of converging. Like where, like Bran is now there. He doesn't even know that. No, but John, that's gonna be a John was planning it out, and he was saying the only place that Bran could go that is ah, uh, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they were like, they were like, if it's like if he was in that direction, and if he was going the way that you say that he was going, the one place that he would land on would be Craster's and shit. And so maybe, so maybe he's like, I don't know, it, 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 maybe it's a door prize or something. Like maybe I'll see him. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you know. But hopefully. also at the same time, I doubt he wanted to see him there because he knows. Fuck that no, he's absolutely are right, exactly. Because because of what we said, fucking Carl. Carl fucking Tanner from Ginelli. What a fucking yeah. asshole, dude. Like he he stepped his villain game up. <laughs> he did. I mean, like, it's it you know, he's and I've seen that actor in a bunch of stuff. He's been in he was in like Pacific Rim and like a couple other like he he's like a character actor that's kind of started it. Oh, he was he was he was he played he had a bit part in like the Dark Knight Rises, I think, like after like around the time that this came out and all that shit. And so like he he's one of those guys, but he really got to step his his villain pussy up in this all shit, the way up. Sure. I mean, like yeah. it was it, it the yeah. way he got that skull cleaned so well. I, yeah, I like, was like it, that's that's it's a sick cup, but crazy. That's I mean, it's no, no metal, and but then it's also it's also just sort of like kind of morbid because you're like you're like oh like Lord Commander Mormont. I was like that's his fucking skull. You're like oh my god, <laughs> right? Like, after. Yeah, like yeah, it's like it's like really fucking rough, and and like and again, that's a very pointed and obvious thing. It's like we need to uh, in we need to draw very very clear and distinct lines with this character. We spent we we evoke the memory of Lord Commander Mormont, and then that is what we cut to. Yeah, and now it's like as far as just like because you know as you come you know you, you watch a lot of stuff and you realize that like action scenes are. Action scenes can just be just opaquely good, but the thing that really makes an action scene really great is it's not so much about how good of it's put together, it's about the motivation. Yeah. And if you believe in it and if you're bought into it. And if and like after like so do we want to go fucking like help out these Craster's daughters? Fucking murder these fucking mutinous these mutineer fucking like 
like SA horror show fucking yeah. like you know like guys like and all this other shit. Yes, we do. And so that what I that's probably what's gonna happen next yeah. episode. I mean so. it's it's very like um I'm a big horror fan. I know you're a fucking spooky bitch. We, we, like... We've established this from fucking like <laughs> I think episode one or two I think we said that we said um, that shit, yeah. Like shit like I spit on your grave and like stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. No, if you're ven- ven- up vengeance how porn bad it is, vengeance yeah. porn, yeah, yeah, for sure. Speaking of that, Daenerys coming in hot <laughs> Early on, you know what I mean? Like, that was all her shit, you know yeah. what I mean? Grey Worm learning to read, that was very cute. That was very sweet. Super wholesome, super very cute. Uh, kind of horny, too, though. Little, those, those hands were They were so close. They were so close. close. They were, I never even noticed that the first time. I was like, damn. Like um, The whole uh, people being stuck up yeah. like the children. It's Gnarly. Just, mm-hmm. The justice thing. That, that, that Yeah, really yeah. There's, I think that's always... It, it's always... I mean, especially in this era, especially, like, the... I always like it when thematic through lines can kind of happen and like they're like like we're you know as as just a you know in a writer's room or as 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 you know crafters of a story you're like this there's going to be a lot of justice parallels in this yeah. episode you I know? mean like, even Jamie sending Brian oh my out. god oath Ke- dude oath keeper oath keeper that, like, it, it, like I almost got kind of going did you did you did, you, did it get you a little, a little bit, bit yeah. of course you they, did they that shit was got beautiful my ass again. it was beautiful I mean like it was I mean like they're and, and that was whole, that that was the impetus of the, like the Podrick thing kind of like because it just starts with him with that goofy ass smile yeah. and shit like he's so happy but like it it's it, it's mostly it's more about the fact that like you know it, it's so it, there's so such kind of clearly drawn like the types of women that he has relationships like the two women like that he has relationships with like Cersei just this like Cold. spiteful vindictive just like ho- like you know, like, and, and it's fueled by grief and it's fueled by everything, you know, all that other shit. But it's like, I, I forgot that he was like, I was like, are you going to like actually say it out loud? Like, yo, he didn't do this. Yeah. Like, just, just so you know, you're mad at the wrong fucking person. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I think, I don't know. Do you think that she believes that? Do you think that she thinks that too? I don't think she cares. Like, I feel like, especially when you're like grieving or whatever, mm. she just needs something to channel all of that grief into. Yep. And she hates him enough. And to Sansa's not around. There. Yeah, you know, and so they're easy targets for. Rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I think that's fair. I mean, like, and the and um, yeah. I mean, like, did you at all? Were you like when Sir Barristan was just like? I mean, like, you know, we're trying to rule this place. Like, are we sure? Like, was there, was there any merit to that at all for you? For like, I think it's I think it's an interesting it's an interesting quandary because it's about her learning how to become a leader and shit. You know, no, that's learning. that's all fair. It's but, fair, right? But at the same time, course, like you're giving these people their freedom mm-hmm. and like it's not it doesn't need to be a tit for tat, but it just shows like there are repercussions for your actions. Sure, like, absolutely. Yeah. Why let them live? They yeah. were terrible terrible people 100 percent, right and then what are they going to do eventually just try to turn around and do the same thing to you no i think that's fair i think that's fair i think it's it's an interesting it's just like it's just i thought i always think it's interesting those quandaries like of of, of how you handle stuff yeah like maybe that's what ned would do but would ned be right to do it ned's dead <laughs> i know I'm t- no but i'm saying like it but that's why killed. right yes exactly so, like, that no. sort of a thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's it's nice that she has that little angel devil on her yeah. shoulders so mm-hmm. that it does keep it kind of like well, yeah, yeah, yeah. or the, that it's at least like a con- it's a, it's a conversation yeah you know what i mean like yeah for sure also um the the conversation between Tyrion, Tyrion and jamie was good yeah yeah i mean he's maybe the other kind of thing where he's kind of pulling pulling at him and show that was funny because like it was like i was like living in shit like at least when it rains you don't fucking you know you're you're out of it you know yeah. what i mean and stuff like <laughs> Whatever. It's like I don't care. Like, what are you talking about? They're like, still they're still brothers. Like, it yeah, still shows still... that dynamic of like bickering. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Deep down, when they dive into it, she's like, "Okay, so are you fucking killing me or not?" And he's like, "I don't do that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Totally. I'll give you shit. And that was also another good thing from Braun. He goes like, he goes like, you know, he if like he thought you fight for me, you're gonna fight for him now. That was a good, that was yeah. a good little move. Braun is always out here just randomly giving the most inspirational pieces of advice. Unbelievable. Yeah, kind of like almost like an idiot savant. Like he doesn't like, and also like like there's inspirational shit, and then there's also just like straight up just like listen to this guy. Like he's another guy who just he's he like is the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because that's what he's been doing his whole life in a certain sense. You know, it's just survival and, you know, uh, like in his own way and shit like that, you know. I mean, he's like, he's been beyond the wall. What the fuck job did he take to do that? And how many people are you, like, taking jobs for that you learn the dynamics of those specific Where he's going, like, like no, is he, is he, get him a smoking jacket, get him a Dos Equis. It's like, <laughs> and I am Westeros' most interesting man in Westeros. You know what I mean? Like, I think he, I, I think it kind of is over, over there. So, um, great episode. Excited for the next one. Yep. Fuck yeah. If you guys are excited for the next one, you guys want to see the next one before anybody else does. And you guys want to see it um, right now. And you guys want to, are digging the, the you know, or you've, if you're digging the, the coverage, if you're digging the content over here on the channel and stuff, and you guys want to help support the channel and stuff and get a ton of early access, um, including episode five right now, whatever fucking crazy shit goes on in that, that's available to you right now um, on our Patreon. It's just got to be, become part of the Patreon. The link's in the top end comment or the description below. You click that, you head on over, you pony up uh, eight bucks at the premium streaming tier and that gets you full and uncut access to all of our Game of Thrones coverage. And also coming down the line, when Hot D comes over, they're also going to get access to all of our hot, because we're going to be covering Game of Thrones and Hot D. At the same time, I'm stoked for that Double shit. Double fisting. That's a, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. We are pro double fisted over here. Um, <laughs> double fisted at the bar. <laughs> like over there, like, that's what we mean by that. That's what we mean. Um, but yeah, so uh, but a ton of stuff over there um, uh, for a pretty damn fair price. So you're going to want to keep it here. But if you can't do that, um, uh, but you still want to help us out. You can hit us with a like, a subscribe, ring the bell thingy. Because that shit always helps. It never fucking hurts. We appreciate you guys for hanging out with us. We'll check y'all later.